Hello, my friends. Now it's time to continue our relicking process. Today I will tell you what instruments I use during these procedures. So let's watch. I need this fan to heat a varnish in certain places and very carefully replicate a figure of the chips that originally Pearly Gates has. The next tool that will help me in my accuracy is this small gas fan by Dremel. This device is 12 years old already. It was used a lot, broken several times, but it still works. It has a special nozzle, like this. It's a flame arrester. So when I turn on this gas fan, there is no flame, just hot air. It can heat a varnish at small places and very accurate. Oops, I burned myself. In addition to all these tools, I have my small scalpel. My special tool for small dents on a varnish. It's a kind of jewelry tool, possibly for stamping silver beds or something like that. Here's a similar tool, but bigger. And it has different caps to wind up. I will use this one. By the way, it works perfectly to repair a battered microphone mesh that falls a lot. So you can take it off and repair. Then I have a dentist tool. I sharpened it and I use it to wind a pickup. It's very handful if you need to unwind it. I will use it to make scratches. And two more tools. These are just metallic cylinders. One is polished, another one is not. I will use them to roll a varnish so it drops behind the wood and starts to crumble. It's very useful when you need not to be accurate, but to be faster. And that's all the tools that I will use now. I will add to all these tools oil paint, which I use as patina. These ones are called Mars Brown Dark Transparent and crop like red light. To make the wood darker, I will use a compound based on isopropyl alcohol before oil patina. This compound will tint the wood a bit by permeating into its structure. So, let's begin.
my friends. This guitar is absolutely ready. I hope you enjoyed this release. And not all of you guys lost consciousness because I damaged a guitar. Feel free to comment everything you think about it, if you like the result. And sooner I will consider your opinions and I will use it in my further work. I adequately perceive constructive criticism and I'm always open to new information. If you have any more advice or your view on relics or your skills, I'm ready to go in for it and test it on my guitars within my experiments. So, see you guys!